Hey guys, Clavif here, and I am back from vacation and bringing to you a very quick video which might be hard for me to come up with a name for, uh, so I guess I'll see how that turns out. But anyways, we're doing basically right-click detection but at 20 hertz, and what I mean by 20 hertz, I mean uh, faster than we've ever had before. So in the latest 1.17 update, they added an advancement trigger called using item, which allows you to trigger an advancement when a player uses an item. And uh, that advancement can be run, it is going to update 20 times a second, especially if you, well, you trigger it, you remove it, you trigger it, you remove it. So let's compare what we had before. So before we had carrot on a stick for right click detection and ooh, sneak peek, uh, basically, what you did is you created a scoreboard called Coast or some name, and it is Minecraft used carrot on a stick. So the scoreboard triggers every time you use the item, but the problem is scoreboard used triggers only update once every four-ish ticks. I think it's an asynchronous update, which is why it's not as good. Uh, and but I'm not an expert on that. But we can just hold right click, and you can see the number go up: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty. Okay, so it took a couple seconds to get to twenty, maybe four seconds. Now we're going to use an Ender Eye, and I'll explain why I used an Ender Eye. But you can use so many things. You can use a shield, everything you want. So now when I use this, it's twenty in about exactly a second. Uh, so it is approximately four to five times faster than the other right click detection. Uh, now, the reason I used an Ender Eye for this is because it is the only item that actually works with the score. So, Carrot on a Stick does not work with the advancement. And I'll just go here and you can test what works and what doesn't. Uh, so, the way the advancement works is you have a criteria. The criteria has a requirement. The requirement has a trigger. And the trigger is when you use an item. And the condition is that that item is an Ender Eye. Uh, and you can also specify MBT. I'll show you what that looks like uh, at the end here. Then the rewards is a function, and that function is just revoking my uh, advancement and adding one to the score. Very simple. Uh, so there are some downsides to this. Obviously, when you hold right-click, you are going to move slower, uh, but I don't think there's any items that trigger the advancement yet that don't slow the player down. Uh, so that's something you have to just kind of accept. The other thing is it only works in a world which doesn't have a stronghold. So if I go into adventure mode, you would think, or survival mode, you would think that I would throw this thing, but since there is no stronghold for it to show me, it just stays in my hand. And there's a little flicker thing when I initially click. And the little flicker thing and when I initially click and everything, that can be easily remedied by just making the uh, attack speed negative a million, which makes the uh, item model stay at the very bottom and not bob at all or anything. And then what that effectively does is uh, I can't, so uh, you can just shift your 3D models upwards uh, and it'll keep them in a stable spot. Uh, anyways, so that is the uh, right click detection that is very, very fast. This is what I'll be using in my server based weapon things where I need to right click and I know that I can handle the slowing down and make that just a feature. Uh, I'll still probably use the carrot on a stick in certain cases, but probably not as often. Uh, the eye of ender is pretty reliable here. If you guys thought that was useful, let me know uh, what you want to see next. And uh, see you next time. Peace.